Welcome to Bootleg, episode 4. On this episode, we're going to show you how to get some hydrogen and then use it to shoot a potato gun. So, I'm Nicholas Sombardi. And I'm Garrett Satterfield. And this is Bootleg. Okay, so to shoot a potato gun on hydrogen, you're going to need a way to get the hydrogen. To do that, we're going to be using electrolysis. And electrolysis is basically running a direct current through water with an electrolyte. In our case, the electrolyte will be baking soda and water. So we're going to have this steel pipe on the inside of this outer casing. And we're going to have this other steel pipe that goes in the middle, like that. Then. We'll glue both of those in there. We'll be able to run a current through it. And then we can produce the hydrogen and oxygen. And then we'll have this cap and it'll just flow out the tube and we can capture it. So one of our pipes will be the anode and one of our pipes will be the cathode. The anode will be the negative and it'll produce hydrogen. The cathode will be the positive and produce oxygen. We'll be capturing both of these in a balloon because when you have the right mixture of hydrogen and oxygen, you'll get a better explosion. So to capture the hydrogen and oxygen, we have rubber pipe caps on each end of our pipe. This end has a nozzle so that the hydrogen and oxygen can go to our balloon and fill it up. We're using a balloon to safely load the potato gun because we can't just spray it in there. It'll just dissipate into the air. It's a good idea to use these rubber caps so that if something, if the two pipes in there do happen to touch together, it doesn't blow the whole thing up it'll just pop the end off. So the potato gun we'll be using is just your average PVC potato gun. It has a screw cap on the end for putting the propellant in and it has a nozzle on the other end for the barrel. It should be about four inches in diameter and roughly this long. We're not going to go into the exact parts list because it's really hard to find the parts consistently from each hardware store. Alright, so now we're going to clean the pipes with PVC cleaner and then glue them together with PVC pipe glue. So to ignite the balloon inside of the potato gun, we're going to use a screw as a contact point mounted on one side, and we're going to use a telescoping antenna on the other. And what we want to have happen is we want the balloon to be between these two, and we want there to be just a five millimeter gap about, and then when we hit the grill starter, it will shoot a spark from one contact point to the other, and it will ignite the hydrogen popping the balloon and then create an explosion in the chamber, which will launch the projectile. So now we're gonna drill the holes and mount the contact points on either side of the chamber. Wow, that was bad.
So we've mounted these little wooden pieces in there to make sure that the two metal pipes don't touch while we're making hydrogen. So we've got our steel pipes mounted in our PVC pipe and you want to make sure that they are not touching. So to get our hydrogen, we're going to use water mixed with baking soda as the electrolyte. So you want to pour in the water above the two steel pipes. And for our power source, you can use any power source you want, but for ours, we're going to use a sealed lead acid battery. And now you can see the hydrogen and oxygen being separated. So now we're going to fill a water balloon up with hydrogen and oxygen so we can safely load the container again. So we just want to put it on the end of our tube and hold it there. And as you can see it fills up you can get it tight pretty quick. So now I've got our potato gun assembled, and we have our two contact points glued into the chamber. We have a grill starter hooked up to the contact points. So now we need to load our balloon in the potato gun. And when you're loading the balloon, you want to squeeze the balloon between the antenna and the screw that we're using as a contact point so that it holds it there and so that the spark will go through the balloon. So we have our antenna just a few millimeters apart from the screw squeezing the balloon so that when we strike the grill starter it will ignite the balloon which creates an explosion pushing the potato out of the barrel. That's it for this episode of Bootlegged. Um, if you want to email us you can do so at bootlegged at area64.tv. Um, the forums are also at area64.tv slash forum. Also check out the IRC channel at area64.tv slash IRC. And so I'm Nicholas Lombardi. And I'm Garrett Satterfield. And this is Bootlegged.